coming to close out the video. It's been two weeks of my liquid diet and I wanna just tell you guys how it went. So, as I checked in with you guys during the last few weeks, I did tell you guys that um, the liquid diet wasn't the best. And honestly, for me, um, it was okay. Would I do it again? Maybe if I had, um, first of all, if I wasn't a picky eater, and then I kind of had a guide to follow. I didn't have a guide to follow. I kind of just winged it, watched a couple of videos, read some stuff, but I didn't have like a secure plan. So I think that was one thing for me. I didn't have a secure plan, but I mean, you live and you learn, and this is a lesson for me to learn. So, I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons, but I'm going to start with the cons first. Because there's a few pros, but it's more cons than anything. Cons. When transitioning to a liquid diet, what most people don't tell you is that your body will go through withdrawals. And I mean, major withdrawals. But I still have my snacks. I was eating my sugar-free jello. I was drinking my water. And it kind of kept me up. One thing that I did not like was the dizziness. I had I had a blackout, y'all. That was scare me. Had a blackout. Um, and the like I call them like it feels like you have static in your head. I don't know the best way to put it, but it feels like your head is like cloudy. So I didn't like the cloudy headaches. I didn't like the dizziness, and I did not like the low energy. Um, I don't know how most people got around on these liquid diets and having so much energy, but when I was on a liquid diet, it drained my energy so much. Like, I had energy early in the morning, but when it was time for me to get off and come home and try to do normal stuff like edit and edit and cook and all other stuff, I couldn't do it. Like, I felt drained. I felt like my energy was like sucked out of my body and I had nothing else to give. So that was one thing. Then when I was done with the fast, I ended the, I ended the liquid diet fast, whatever, on Friday because the headaches were killing me and I couldn't do it anymore. And so it's, I kind of gave up in a sense. I was like, okay, because I was supposed to do it till today. And I was like, yeah, no, not doing it. I'm over it. I want to eat regular food. If I'm going to be fat, I'm going to be fat. If I'm going to be skinny, it's other ways to do this. This is just not the way for me. It works for other people. For me, not so much. Um, I constantly got headaches. Like, my head, like, all right here. Like, all, like I'm moving my hair so I can see my big old forehead. But, like, this side of my face would hurt so bad. And then Friday, my ear was hurting. This side of my, like, my, my whole face was hurting. And I was like, never had a headache like that. I do get migraines, but I never had a headache where I felt, like, miserable. Like, like I couldn't function. And and let me and the, the best way to put it, I was editing on Friday, and I was trying to edit, and it was just, like, cloudy headache. Like, my ears was hurting. And I was just like, yeah, no, I can't do it. This is it. Saturday, um, well, yesterday, we went and did um, Amazon Flip. So we were doing that. And in the morning, I had a protein shake. Because I was still, I still was trying to stay on the liquid because I didn't want to transfer it back into solid food foods until I was kind of ready. I didn't eat that morning because I wasn't really hungry. And one thing about me on the weekends, and I think that's why I gain so much weight, is because I don't eat most of the times, especially during the weekends. It's just I rather lay down and sleep or run around than I forget to eat. And then when I eat, it's just, it blows up in my face. But anyway, I decided to get some food. I had, I had got some chips. Worst decision ever to get those chips. After I got those chips, and it wasn't regular chips, I got hot chips because... I feel like I'm still in high school at this point. <laughs> I got hot chills. My head stayed hurting for the rest of the night. And I was like, what the heck is what the heck is happening to me? Like, I don't like this feeling. I don't like feeling nauseous. I don't like this headache. Like, what the crap is happening? But what I think was happening is that I moved too fast trying to eat solid foods when I was on liquid for basically two weeks. And my body was like, what the heck are you doing to me? And I got the headache. And good enough, I feel better today. I don't have a headache today. I don't feel nauseous today. Have I eaten today? Not yet. Um, and it is 1.15. I haven't eaten at all today. And I have, I've been up since like nine this morning. So you put that time together. 
Anyways, <laughs> so the cons were more so I didn't like the feeling of feeling nauseous. I didn't like having the headaches. I didn't like the dizziness. I didn't like the cloudy headaches. That's what came with that. Maybe if I would have had like um, more shakes throughout the day or if I would have planned it out and figure out what smoothies I like, that could have probably been a better thing. But I literally did liquids. I did water, um, broth. Um, shots. I did Jello, uh, sugar-free Jello. I did sugar-free popsicles as well. When I just wanted like a kind of a sugar rush, and I did soup. That's it. Okay, the pros. So when I showed you guys when I um, weighed in, I was at three or four. When I weighed in on Friday, I haven't weighed myself today, but when I weighed in on Friday, I was at three hundred pounds. So. I lost four pounds. So honestly, I felt like I could have lost the four pounds without the liquid diet. If I would have just stick to me working out, eating right, I probably would have lost way more weight and would have felt way better. So I don't know if that's a pro or a con. It's like right in the middle. But the pro was I lost the four pounds and I'm back at 300 pounds. And But I probably gained that back after eating the Jack and Bucks. Who knows? I, I may weigh myself today. I may not. I'm like, I really don't feel like all that negativity in my life today, okay? Um... <laughs> <laughs> the other pro is that I drank a lot of water. Because I do drink water, but I don't drink it a lot. I only drink it more so a lot when I'm at home. I don't drink it a lot at work. Not that I'm drinking soda at work. I just don't drink anything. So that made me keep up with making sure that I'm drinking water. So I'm going to keep that and plant that more. Do what I was doing before to keep that going. Also, coming into the next week, I'm going to be eating more soups for lunch. So, I'm thinking I'm going to, well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have my breakfast in the morning with my protein, which will probably be eggs, spinach, and some patties. I'm going to eat the soup for lunch, probably throwing crackers. I'm not sure yet. And then for dinner, I'm going to have a protein and veggies. And I'm going to just live my life like that. And I incorporate stuff here and there to help me improve it. And hopefully, I get to slim down a little bit more. Yeah, because my goal, y'all, my goal is to be healthy. My goal is to be long-lasting for my daughter. My goal is to be here for my daughter. My goal is to just be healthy for myself. I want to feel comfortable in my clothes. I want to feel comfortable in life. I don't want to be out of breath. And... With the weather changing and allergy season, things are starting to rev up my asthma, and I'm over that as well. So, I really don't have any other pros about it. I mean, I like it. It was cool. I realized that I can do it, and I realized if I had a better plan, I probably would have lost more weight. But four pounds is four pounds, y'all. Like, four pounds in a week? That's crazy. Because I only lost that that week, this week. Because when I weighed in last week, I didn't lose no, no weight. This week, I lost four pounds. So, hey, if I would have stayed on to it, maybe by the end of in two weeks, I would have been down a couple of more four pounds. But four pounds is a good start. Can't go wrong. But yeah, so, I mean, do it if you want to do it, but see your doctor first. What I will suggest is that when I have seen these videos in the past, everybody recommends that you do see your doctor. I'm going to say the same thing. Don't just go by what I'm saying. I'm telling you what happened to me. It may happen to you. It may not. But go see your doctor. I think if I were to see my doctor and tell her that I was doing this, she probably would have told me not to do it, first of all. And secondly, she probably would have gave me other options to try. So, like I said, we live and we learn. This week, the last couple of weeks was really, it was a good lesson for me to learn. Um, will I ever do it again? Probably not. But if it was a challenge, somebody wants to do it with me or whatever, somebody wants me to do it with them, I don't mind doing it. I think we just need a better plan. So these videos about my lifestyle, what I go through, I feel like as a normal person that this is just my life. I struggle with my diet. I gain weight. I lose weight. I overeat. I don't eat. I don't get much sleep. I work. I, sometimes I have enough money. Sometimes I don't. I need to stop spending money. Like all this stuff is just what my channel is about so if you like what you see don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell just so you know when i upload again and if it's something that you want me to try a diet a fab diet an app or anything let me know and i will try it out for a week and we'll go from there if you want me to do it before you do it just let me know put it in the comments and again like i said just be safe when you're doing these diets and these lifestyle changes and things like that because 
all of them are not the same and all of them are not always safe. Always consult with your doctor or your nutritionist. And again, loves, I love you and I hope you know it and you're beautiful the way you are and we're just working on ourselves, okay? Let's work on ourselves. Let's work on the inside and the outside will start to reflect. But again, thank you guys for joining me on this journey once more and I can't wait to take you guys on another one with me. I thank you for coming and watching and I love you and you love me and we're the best and I can't wait to see you again and bye. Love you.